up for How to Kill a Cat with Style. This month our theme was um, splash. So I kind of rolled with the whole splash of water, beach photos, lake photos, swimming pools, that kind of thing. Uh, and also splashes of color and kind of playing with that. It was also off the board this month. So a lot of the stuff that I created came from inspiration from Pinterest. And so, yeah, I, I kind of leaned to, if I could do both a water picture and some splashes of color, then that kind of worked together. If not, it was definitely one or the other. It was so much fun to play with. I have a ton of stuff left over in my kit, so I'll show you that in a second. Let me show you what I've created. I'm actually gonna start with this one. This was the first layout that I created. This is for the summer challenge for Scrap Shots. I am so excited to be part of their design team. You can go and see this layout in um, the Scrap Shots Facebook group. You can play along. There's a color palette challenge. I'll put it up here somewhere so you can take a look and see what the color palette is, but it's essentially these colors right here. Uh, and so I created that to kind of launch the, the challenge. You can play all month long. Go ahead and upload your creations using that color palette into the album that's in the group. And then there is a prize at the end. So it goes all the way until the end of August. So still plenty of time to play. So this was the first layout that I created. Definitely going more for the splash of color uh, and splash of rainbow here. And then this is the second layout I created. There's process videos for all of these, so you can check them all out. This was actually kind of inspired by that last layout when I was playing around with how I wanted to do these strips of color and also just kind of checking to see that the colors that I chose from my ink pads were close enough to the actual colors in the Inspiration palette. I made this piece first and I didn't like how I started out here and then I had you know a bit of a gap in between the two colors I had that same gap well a little bit shorter gap here then realized I didn't have enough time and kind of you know ran out of space on the paper and so I recreated this again to create that other layout because I knew I wanted to rip the papers and by the time I got to here I was worried if I was ripping uh, one of the colors, there wouldn't be enough of the other colors. So I just recreated it, but I didn't want to get rid of that piece of paper because it was still really pretty. So I found some inspiration in the form of those I Spy jars that you can get that, or make for kids. It was on Pinterest and it was all these jars in pretty rainbow colors with all these fun little I Spy elements in them. And so I created these shaker pockets with little I Spy elements. So I hid some stuff like a little bunny in there and in here you've got some little words. Um, there's little flowers kind of hidden in here and some fun little guys with eyes and wood veneer shapes and that kind of thing. So fun little kind of shaker element with that added bonus of trying to find some of those cute little elements that I tucked in. So tons of Spiegel Mom scrap sequins. This was a design team layout that I created. And then here is your splash. So I literally used the word splash. It's a picture of the splash park. So I've got the water element and then all these beautiful splashes of color. So yay, I love how this one turned out and it is so much fun to just shake and play with it. So then the next layout I created is actually in here and it is using the pieces that I cut out of that last um, layout to create the little shaker pockets. I had all these strips of pieces and I thought I'm not going to get rid of them. They're these beautiful colors and so I used them to create this layout. So this was also a scrap lift. It was a celebration hop that we were doing and yeah I used all those same colors used my little elements here to create my triangles. I also punched with the leftover pieces. I punched out a bunch of stars so that I had stars and embellishments in these exact colors and just created this really fun 
uh, traveler's notebook layout. So those two kind of creations ended up giving me three separate layouts. So I'm pretty happy about that. Go check out the uh, process video because the links to everybody scrapping along and playing along are in there so you can check that out. This layout was for Mad About Mini paper pads. So I used six by six papers to create these fun little squiggly lines. This was uh, inspired by a layout that I found on Pinterest. Again, you can see I used water pictures. We're at the pool here. And then all of these fun splashes of rainbow colors. So kind of mixing the two themes of my kit. I love how this one turned out. It's so fun and just, yeah. It was really fun to put together and just play around with the different shapes of the paper and yeah. This is the two page layout that I created for Stretch the Sketch. So here you go. Our sketch was from Pinterest. So we could play along with Off the Board as well. So I love all these fun banners coming down. All of the elements came from my How to Kill Kit with Style Kit. So lots of pops of color, but also a lot of these elements were put into the kit with water and kind of like beach or summery splash pictures in mind. So here we are at the lake. And I thought these pictures ended up working out well because this little uh, narwhal floaty that they're using has a pop of rainbow so everything kind of fell together really well with that one I think this was so fun love it and then I have my build a page layouts so here I have my first one this was inspired by Shannon's Pinterest selection we all selected pictures off of Pinterest and we use those to inspire our layout. So this one was inspired by Shannon's. This one was inspired by Sheila's. This one was inspired by Moira's. This one was inspired by Kristen's. And this final one was inspired by Christie's. I haven't created with mine yet, but I am going to. Um, and I will hopefully have something ready for the very last day of the month or maybe into August. I haven't, haven't fully got all of my schedule out by then, but those are all the layouts that I created for the month of July. So not too bad. It was a, it was a bit of a slow month for me, but really, really busy with other stuff. So let me show you what I have left in my kit. I am just gonna pop this down. So you can see here, it still looks pretty full. Um, this is my case where all of my pictures are and there are definitely pictures in here that I didn't get to, like this one uh, and some of these fun ones here. I didn't get to any of these and I really want to. That goes with that. I also didn't get to any of the dinosaur ones that I put in here. Or this bubble one, which has now been in a couple of different kits. So I'm going to leave these in this container because this coming month for August, the theme is sweet and spicy and that is a pretty open interpretation. You can kind of make it whatever you want. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a blend of um, sweet kind of being summer. So again, those sweet colors of, I'm thinking like ice cream colors and stuff like that. And spicy being a little bit more on the fall side of things. So this is definitely a kit inspired by this layout. Um, Moira's selection to me was very kind of summer into fall. There were definitely the fall elements of these oranges and yellows and kind of reddish color, but there was also a lot of green to it and there was the sun shining. And so it was, it was for me kind of a good blend of summer and fall. That is what I'm going to do for my kit for August. So I am going to keep all of this summery stuff in here. 
all of these beautiful pops of color and anything that says summer, anything like that, but a lot of this stuff does have some of these warmer tones that I think would also work well for early fall kind of things, so like back to school and that kind of stuff. So that is my plan. Um, I am going to just throw a couple extra little bits into here to kind of elevate some of this from all the way summer to a little bit fallish. So let's do that. Okay, so here are the papers that I think I'm going to add. So I'm kind of doing the summer is sweet and fall is more spicy with those warmer colors, the reds and the yellows and the oranges and kind of those just really nice warm tones. I am gonna add in this little pack of six by six papers, um, which is definitely summer, but there are a few elements here that I also feel kind of bridge the two, like this one to me has lots of the peachy, orangey, warmer colors, lots of like a really warm yellow. So I thought that would work out good. And then a couple pieces that are, you know, kind of neutral, like this one. And it's brand new, and I just like to sometimes throw in something that's brand new. So this is gonna go ahead and go in there. It's more on that sweet side, the summery side, um, but there's a few elements that are fallish. Then what I pulled out is a couple of these My Mind's Eye On Trend. This is so old. Let me see if I can actually find a date for you. Nope, they don't have a date on them. Oh yes, they do, 2014. So 10 years old. <laughs> um, but I wanted to pull it out because I think this is the perfect kind of palette that bridges the two. So you have these really fun and light summery colors to me in the greens and the cream color and this sort of lighter orange but it also has a warmness to it from that darker orange and this teal darker teal to me kind of feels warmer uh, so I think this is like the right just the right way to bridge my sweet and spicy so I've got these two pieces of paper I'll probably use this side and then I have this one which gold to me also is kind of summer and fall because we've kind of got the golden sun and that kind of thing but then fall we have golden leaves and you know golden sunsets and stuff and then this is just beautiful on this side so the warm richness of this color but the flowers are a little bit more summery so that's where my mind was going with adding this type of thing into the kit. So I'll just pop this over here for now to add it in. Then I have a bunch of scraps. All of these scraps were in that same bag that I talked to you about when I built my kit last month. So these were in kits last year and then when I was done with them I put them into my little bag that I like to keep beside me uh, where I kind of sit on the Chesterfield and then I could pull them out and craft with them and create you know small projects or just do layouts while I'm watching TV um, work on project life that kind of stuff so they do get a little bit crinkled and rumpled and just you know bent and stuff because of how I just kind of throw things into that bag um, but these are all from last year's August and September kits. So again, they kind of bridge the two seasons or the transition portion of the seasons. So this one is the More Than Words collection. I think this foliage is very much either summer or fall. I like this darker color. On the back, we have these beautiful butterflies, but look, they're kind of in the reds and the yellows and the pinks. A little bit of orange here and there. So bridging that gap. This is the Authentique collection called um, Poised. So it definitely is on this yellow, which to me is very uh, kind of heading towards fall where a lot of our crops and flowers and stuff are kind of heading more towards the yellows. The canola is out and it's beautiful yellow. The corn is out and it's a beautiful yellow, that kind of thing, um, but definitely has a summer feel to it as well with those florals. 
and here is the back it's a warm yellow so you know kind of goes both ways too so that's gonna go in there this is a six by six piece of paper I'm not really sure what collection it came from it's single-sided but again it kind of has like the shiplap feel which is very summer to me but then this warm yellow which is kind of more on the fall side so that works good a couple more small scraps. This is Vicky Booten. I have a bunch of Vicky Booten stuff in there, so I thought this scrap would work really good. Uh, this scrap also has some of those fall feels, but also, you know, pops of summer for me. So I, I just grabbed what I could from out of there that I thought would work. I love this piece of paper because of the text in it. I always feel like Simple Stories florals are very transitional. Uh, even their summer collection still kind of feels like you could use it in other places and they just seem to use this color palette that can kind of transition from season to season. So that one works good. Uh, I'm just going to keep tucking these underneath actually while I'm, I've got them all. Some more cocoa vanilla. So I do have cocoa vanilla in there and I have some of my build up page kits that I'm going to transition for August so I thought I would throw these two elements in there. This is also cocoa vanilla as is this one I think, yep. And this one. I have this really fun shimmery blue cardstock so I just decided it was part of that pile that I grabbed. I'll go ahead and throw it in there. This I think is beautiful and definitely could be spring or summer or kind of late summer with this color. Some more simple stories. This is some more of that on trend from my mind's eyes. And then that's the back. I also pulled out a few pieces of the Sweet Little One collection from Wild Whisper because it doesn't really have a season to it, but it definitely is more on those spicy colors to me. So this one is the just the back of the like main title page with the bonus print. So I've definitely cut into that. It's a bit of a scrap. And then I have, you can see here, just these really warm colors and very earth tone colors. And then it has this on this side, the little uh, pennants for baby and I thought maybe I could do some of Landon's photos from when he was really little and first came to us. This one here has that warm color palette as well with these little pops of like an aqua almost. And then again you can just see nice and warm so on that spicy side is what I'm thinking those do. Um, here I have these papers were actually with those Wild Whisper papers because I just thought they kind of matched. And I have some photos of Landon when he was sleeping all snuggled up and sweet and adorable. So I kind of kept them together because I think I might go ahead and pull out those pictures. And then I also thought because this is a crunched month for me where I'm going to try to get through all of my main obligations but I may not actually be able to get too much extra done, I figured if I throw in a couple of layouts that are started then that might be just a really quick go to that I can pull these out, create something nice and quick and I've already got some mixed media going here so it won't take me quite as long. So this is something I started for the very, very, very first ever Craft IQ challenge um, and I love Jackie so much so please 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 go and check it out it's just so much fun it's a great challenge it's like a layer challenge so every day you get a new layer to add to your layout and then you kind of you know roll with it you can interpret the layers how you want um, I'll leave her links down below please go and say hello but this was the beginning of the very first one and as you can see I did not get it all finished but I love this layout I love the structure it has some Vicky Booten stuff in here which again is in here in my kit already and I feel like these could be a bit more on the autumn side than just the summer side so I decided to throw that one in and then this one here was also actually started as a Craft IQ challenge. Uh, and this is kind of as far as I got. I do have a picture to go with this one. But again, if you really look at these, these are a little bit more on the warmer side. So maybe a little more on that spicy side of color. And it's kind of already started. So those are both thrown in there. 
and hopefully I can get something done with the two of them. Then I also threw in this kit here. I got this from Christy, and it's also one of those collections that I feel kind of bridges the feelings of both summer and fall. So this is the Crepe Paper Fresh Bouquet collection, and you can definitely see that it leans towards, uh, towards these nice warm colors. Um, but it has these little pops of floral and cute little bunnies and birds and stuff which definitely kind of give it a summery feel. So I thought that these would all be really good to throw into the kit. I'm excited to get some of this used up. I'm also planning to do a little bit more work to try to finish this May um, Traveler's Notebook. So I have this layout to do. And then I think these are all done until I get to the back here and there are a few layouts here. The thing that's kind of fun is that they're all food layouts so again it kind of plays into the sweet and spicy so I think that that's going to work out really well. So this is actually going to go with my kit so that it is always here on my desk. I can see it, I'm pulling from it and I'm working in it. I like to do scrap lifts here of all of the people that I do shout outs for. So if you know anybody who needs a shout out in the month of August, please let me know down below so I can include them. It could be someone maybe working on a goal, someone who just needs a little bit of a, you know, spirit lifting. Um, maybe someone who's just a favorite scrapbooker or crafter that you have been following for years and years and you want to say hey to, I will definitely give them all a shout out so leave them in the links and then I try to scrap lift everybody that I can in my traveler's notebook. So that I definitely want to make sure is out. And then the last thing that I'm going to be working on in August is all of my goodies from Scrap Shots. There is a haul showing all of these goodies and talking about them, but you can see that they're definitely a little bit more on the summery side, or at least this one is. This is Pink Fresh Studios Sunshine On My Mind. I'm gonna be creating a little mini album with this one for the trip that we're taking in a couple of weeks. So that will definitely um, be taken with me and I'll just kind of create as I go. And then this one is Simple Stories, The Little Things Collection, and again, I feel like it's very summery, but could do some fall and late summer type stuff. Just the way that the florals are, and there's some really nice, more solid pieces in here. If I move this out of the way, you can kind of see there's like a solid purple, and there's this solid piece right here with foliage on it, and um, you know, some of these ones. So I definitely feel like it's a good transition. Slightly more summer than fall, but there's even like little squirrels and stuff that give me a bit of a fall vibe. So I think that's gonna be a good transition one. I'm super, super excited to be playing along and doing design team work for them. So I can't wait to get started on that. I'm not putting this stuff into my kit officially because I kind of wanna keep it out to keep myself reminded that um, this is for design team work, but it is unofficially officially in my kit and I wanted to make sure you guys saw it and go check out that haul so you can see all the beautiful papers and everything. And yeah, I think that is it. So let me just go ahead and pop these into the kit like so. I'll just put them right at the back here. There we go. And here are my pictures again at the front. So another super chunky kit, but that's okay. It just gives me lots of options and places to kind of explore and pull out and directions to go in. So I love a big chunky kit. And that is it for me. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions at all, if I didn't explain something enough or you just want to know more about a product you saw, anything like that, please let me know down below. I'd love to know what your kits are going to be for the month of August. And yeah, um, I will just start working away at these. My schedule might be a little bit off, but you know, I always end up catching up in the end. So um, 
thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I love that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've got lots of links posted down below for everybody who plays along with How to Kill a Kit with Styles. So if you want to see how they are creating their kits and interpreting the theme for this month, please go and check them out. Show them some love. Subscribe. We all love it when you subscribe and you like and you comment. It means so much to us. And that's it. So until next time, happy scrapping. Bye. Bye, thanks to me, to Robert, and to my channel.